sometimes we do things in our life that is not the way it's supposed to be. A person will maybe be obsessed with a relationship and stay too long and feel that they have to be there. Or they start taking drugs, or suicidal thoughts, or stay in a job, or do something. We take ourselves off of the path of life that we're supposed to be on. And then we get stuck. So it's like you're not able to move forward. You're not able to move backwards. You get stuck right in the middle for a long period of time. This is where people fall into deep, deep depression. And this is where the ability comes out to open up. And I would see that and feel that in people. And then that's what made me go through being a Bazi Master Healer. That's what's made me open up my psychic abilities. I've, I talk with angels. I talk with guides. This is my passion. This is what God chose me to do. Because I would wake up and see things. I dream things and they come, up, they come to life. I'll dream about a person. They'll walk into my office a week from, from now. I know that person needs a certain answer about something. But I'm able to close off also my ability. Because I am a wife, a mother, a daughter. I'm a, I'm a human being. I'm a normal person. Sometimes when people see a, a, a psychic or a seer, they think them as a maybe a weird person or someone who, ooh, you know, that's scary or that's weird or that's devil worshiping. It's not. God has a plan for all of us. I believe in the power of prayer, the power of healing, the power of healing whatever is within us, of self-healing, removing negatives, bringing in positives. We're 90% spiritual and 10% physical. And we're capable of changing many things in our life when it comes to love, relationship, uh, things that have happened in previous lives of ours, things that have happened in this life with us that we need to disconnect from because there's no room for anything else. I will not candy coat it for you. I will not sugar coat it for you. I will tell you how it is and what you're doing wrong and how to fix things. Some people like it, some people don't. But I'm going to give you the real me. Because you know what? Your life is real. And if you don't want the real me, I cannot give you the real you. Of understanding, you are looking at things sometimes with rose-colored glasses. Sometimes we need to take those off and really look at what we've done wrong. Or what others have done wrong to us and what we have to fix. And many times it's spiritually what has to be fixed. Not physically.